Geography Terms, created for you by Ms. Weislinger and recorded by Mr. Ramster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. For those of you watching for the first time, see if you can guess what each geographic term is using the word bank above you on that worksheet, and then fill in the correct answer followed by the definition. For those of you following along for a second time, please make sure to fill in the definitions very neatly. Here's another look at that, those directions. Up first, we have this image. Do you know what it is? If you said a canyon, you're correct. Now a canyon has a deep, narrow valley. Notice how close these two are together with steep sides and a small stream flowing through it. Here's the definition for you and feel free of course to pause the video if you need to. Once you have completed writing in the definition, please take a moment and highlight these words. Deep, narrow, valley, steep sides. We're going to keep going. What is this called? Do you know? If you said, it's a bay, you're correct. Notice here that a bay is a part of a sea or ocean, which is what's out here, that extends into the land. Notice this little shape here. That's the bay itself. And here's your definition. A part of a sea or ocean that extends into land. Please take a moment and highlight extends into land. If you need more time to write, please feel free to pause the video. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. What is this? This area right in here. Do you know what it is? I know it looks like a bay, but it's not. This is a harbor. A harbor is a sheltered part of a body of water deep enough to provide anchors, anchorage for boats and ships. Notice how all of these ships are right here. All right, and they can all harb be in the harbor. Here's the definition for you. A sheltered part of a body of water deep enough to provide anchorage for boats and or ships. Please take a moment, once you have completed this, to highlight sheltered body of water. Provide anchorage. Please, of course, feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Up next is one of my favorites. At least the word is. Do you know what it is? This is what's known as an isthmus. Now an isthmus is a narrow strip of land that connects two larger areas of land. So here's Larry and right here and land over here. And there's the isthmus. Now, this narrow strip of land that connects the two larger pieces of land. It's kind of like a land bridge, so to speak. Please take a moment and highlight narrow strip connects two larger areas. Do you know what this is? 
If you said a cataract, you're correct. Now, a cataract is a large waterfall or any strong flood or rush of water. Notice how quickly this water is coming down. It's moving down really fast. Now, a cataract is a waterfall, but it's also a strong flood or rush of water. Please feel free to highlight large waterfall. And of course, feel free to pause the video if you are not done writing. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Do you know what this is? And do you know where it is? Bonus points if you know that. This is a delta. Now a delta is a triangular shaped plane at the mouth of a river. The mouth is the end of the river formed where sediment, so it's all this stuff right here, is deposited by flowing water. Does anyone know where this particular delta is? It's called the Nile Delta. It's in Egypt. I'd like you to write Egypt somewhere next to this picture. E-G-Y-P-T. And make sure that E is capitalized. I'm going to check. Now, as I said, it is a triangular shaped plane at the mouth of a river formed when sediment is deposited by flowing water. Please highlight triangular shaped plane to triangle. Three sides. Sediment deposited. Feel free, of course, to pause the video. We're going to keep going. What's this right here? Other than a really beautiful sunset. I mean, come on, that's just gorgeous. If you said an island, you're correct. Now, an island is an area of land completely surrounded by water. An area of land completely surrounded by water. And let's highlight, once you're done, completely surrounded water. Please, of course, feel free to pause the video or go back. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Do you know what these are? All of these things together? Separated, they were, they're known as continents. Together, they are. Pangaea! The name of a huge supercontinent that scientists believe split apart about two million years ago, forming completely different continents. See, we have North Africa, South America. Did I say North Africa? I meant North America. Oopsie. Africa, Eurasia. Here's India down here. It's going to come up and join Eurasia. East Antarctica. And down there is Australia. Now let's look again at that definition. The supercontinent we call Pangaea that scientists believe split apart two million years ago, forming different continents. Please take a moment and highlight supercontinent split apart two million years ago. Feel free, of course, to pause the video here if you need more time. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Does anyone know what this is? If you said a butte, you're correct. Now a butte is a small raised land, small, with steep sides. Hello, hello. As said here, small raised area of land with steep sides. If you'd like to pause the video, feel free. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Now, a butte is not to be confused with this. 
Do you know what this is? Some might say it's a butte, but it's not. This is a mesa. Now a mesa is a high, flat topped landform, so it's very high, with cliff-like sides, and it's usually larger than a butte. It is not usually. It is much larger than a butte. Notice the size difference between this and that. Now here it is again. A mesa is a high, flat-topped landform with cliff-like sides larger than a butte. Please take a moment and highlight flat-topped, larger than a butte. If you feel the need to pause the video, feel free. Maybe go grab a drink or something and come right back. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Did you know? Buttes and mesas are formed when plateaus erode away due to wind, rain, and other environmental effects. So at one point, these things were much bigger. They had much flatter surfaces, much larger surfaces, and they broke apart due to nature. Do you know what this is? Again, they're very, it looks a little bit similar to a mesa, but it's not. This is known as a plateau. Now a plateau is a large, flat area, right here, that rises above surrounding areas, down here. At least one of the slopes has a steep side. Notice this, and up here you can see has steep sides for that. Here's that definition for you. A large, flat area that rises above the surrounding air land at least one side has, steep, has a steep slope. Feel free, of course, to pause the video at any time. And let's take a moment and highlight flat area rises above surrounding land at least one steep slope. So that one's a little highlighter happy, but it's okay. We're going to keep going. Do you know what this is? It's a flat land. There's some little bit of hills there. It's known as planes. No, not a plane like you're flying. A plains, like it's a flat, it's a large area with some gently rolling land. And here you can highlight large area, flat, feel free of course to pause the video, otherwise we're going to keep going. Ooh, come on, you got to know what this is. What is it? Look at that steam coming out of a <sighs> volcano. An open area in the earth surface through which molten rock, ash, and gases from the earth's interior escape. Notice that it's escaping. Also notice, though, it's very green here. Volcanic soil is very rich. An opening in the Earth's surface through which molten rock, ashes, and gases from the Earth's interior escape. Opening and Earth's surface. Please highlight that. Rocks, gases, ashes, and gases escape. Feel free, of course, to always pause the video if you need. Otherwise, we're going to keep going. Look at these. They're so large. What are they? Hmm. Are they? Yes, you guessed it. They're mountains. All right, they're large. We see. 
It's a mountain range, actually, because there's multiple ones here. And it is an area that rises steeply at at least 2,000 feet above sea level. Probably want to highlight that. And add in rises steeply. Usually wide at the bottom and rising to a narrow peak or ridge. Ready to keep going? Do you know what this is? Notice the people below it. And what we're looking for is pretty much what this is. If you guessed a glacier, you're correct. A glacier is a huge, notice the size of it compared to the little humans, they're itty bitty, slow moving mass of snow and ice. A huge, slow moving mass of snow and ice. And you can just highlight mass of snow. Ice. Next. Do you know what this is? It's this narrow body of water right here. I don't know why I'm whispering it, but it's a narrow body right here. What is that? Do you know? If you guessed a strait, you're correct. Now this strait is a narrow stretch of water that connects two larger bodies of water together. So here's large body number one large body number two, and they're connected like this. The best way to describe it is it's sort of the opposite of an isthmus. And as I said, it's a narrow stretch of water that connects two larger bodies of water. Please take a moment and write somewhere opposite of an isthmus, just to make sure that you're paying attention. And an isthmus is I -S -T -H M U S I S T H M U S. Please take a moment and highlight once you're done, narrow stretch of water connects two bodies of water. And our last one, we've finally reached the end. Do you know what this is? It's jutting out from the land. And so is it here too a little bit. It's got water on one, two, three sides. Do you know what it is? If you said it's a peninsula, you're correct. That's an area of land almost completely surrounded by water and connected to the land by an isthmus. Please also add in, it can be also described as surrounded by water on three sides. Please take a moment and highlight surrounded by water on three sides. Can you think of any other geographic terms? I'm sure you can. There's lots of them. And here's just a few. Thanks for stopping by. The end.